Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another stream, guys. Let's get this game capture up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. How is everybody doing? Just like 12 hours wasn't enough. <laughs> You're gonna get some more time with your boy Sharky. The aftermath of the crazy 12 hour stream. I'm gonna recover fully by playing some Traveler's Rest. Nice cozy, we're gonna go down to the tavern and have some fun. How is everybody doing? <clears throat> you fell, fell asleep and missed the face reveal? So I need to actually clear something up as well because on that 12 hour stream, YouTube apparently only archives the footage up to 12 hours. So 10 or 15 minutes of that stream has been cut off which of course was where I did the face reveal. So there's gonna be a lot of people who sadly didn't get to see that. But after this stream, I am going to post the picture on my community like section of my channel so everyone can see that. So if you have missed it, don't worry. <clears throat> You'll be able to see it very soon. Because yeah, I didn't even realize YouTube cuts off the video just before 12 hours. And we stream for like 12 hours and 15 minutes or something like that. So yeah, it was a bit strange, but I didn't even know, so. But now we do. So if I ever do a 12 hour stream again, <laughs> which I'm reluctant to, because that was crazy, uh, at least we know that we'll have to finish just before the 12 hour mark, or I'll have to split it up into two videos. It's good to see some of the, the familiar faces, Melissa, Belinda, Kevin, welcome back, buddy. How you doing? You must be tired. I've kind of recovered, to be honest. I, I did wake up pretty late. I kind of passed out, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I woke up in the afternoon. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I didn't actually go to sleep until about 3.30 a.m. Once I actually got settled and stuff. So, yeah, I've, I think I've recovered a little bit. Oh, crap. Didn't do that. And, um... I don't feel too bad. I woke up with a little bit of a headache because I think it was staring at the screens for so long in one sitting. Which, um, yeah, was a bit rough. Especially for me because I do struggle with my eyes quite a bit. I do get dry eyes. So I have to wear like special tinted glasses. Which I did wear, but there was a few occasions where I forgot to, <laughs> to put them on. But I think I'm doing, I think I'm good. I feel better and I, I just felt like I wanted to do another little cozy stream today. Something a little bit more calm and not so hectic because the 12 hour thing yesterday was full on, you know I was spending a lot of time looking at the chat and trying to interact and things um, I felt like we didn't really get much time to just sit back relax and play a game. <laughs> it felt full on But it was still nice. You know, it was cool So today is a little bit more of a let's just dewind. Let's get back into the rhythm of things Let's do a nice cozy two three hour stream Not like yesterday and play some Traveler's Rest. It was so hard to focus on the games that I was playing yesterday because I was constantly, you know, checking the chat and stuff. Back again, I know, right? I can't even believe it. I just had the urge to do a nice little cozy one. I don't know why. <laughs> but we're here. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I'm not too bad, actually. So I thought, I've got the energy. Let's do a little cozy one. Um, let's do some rose wine fruit. But yeah, it was super fun yesterday, the 12 hour stream. Oh yeah, I do need to remind you guys, we have set up a brand new Discord server. Uh, well, it was private, but we are now making it public. So anyone who wants to join the Discord server, I've, I've actually got one up and running again. There'll be a link. Um, if Alice can send the link now, just the link, I'll pin it, a fresh one. And then anyone can join. But if you are a member, um, it will automatically give you a member role and then you can access like private rooms where only members can can chat and stuff like that so there are special rooms for members only and you, you'll automatically assign you you don't need to worry about anything so let's do that rose wine with fruit so there's the link there and I'm gonna pin it so it's at the top of the stream if you want to join the Discord server, 
You love watching me play this game, I love this game. Make sure you connect your YouTube to your Discord. Yeah, so on your Discord profile, just make sure that you've got your YouTube channel or YouTube account linked to your Discord, and then you'll get given the, the member role. That's if you're a YouTube member of mine, of course. And also, the moderators here, I saw Peggy, Honey, and Kevin. If you add me as a friend on Discord, uh, if you join the server first, I'll add you as a friend, and then you can join the special moderators' channels, so then we can discuss things together, if, if we need to, you know? Right, so how much building supplies have we got? We've got 62 planks. Yeah, and oh yeah. I did a little bit of a, a redesign of the tavern. I just spent one day myself and I've redesigned it a little bit, made because it was a bit clunky. So I kind of made it quite easy to get around. Eventually, these three little small tables are going to be all big as well, going across. So we do need to work on that. That's what I'm going to do. The two rooms are all cleaned and ready. This one needs a candle in it, otherwise no one will be able to join. There we go. We will do some expanding once we've got enough resources. And I'm going to build another room, guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. Get free rooms. Because they start to give us some good money now. I think if you haggle, you can get at least one full gold for someone staying in the room. Which is amazing. Hello, hello, Shayla. How are you doing? Can't wait uh, for you to get the basement open in the game. The basement, we've got it. The cellar is now open. We did it in yesterday's stream. Uh, yeah, and the best thing is, look... Our wine is actually aged. We've actually got 15 red wine. And there's all the fruity, juicy notes. And it's now saying aged. And this will sell for 11 silver. That's each compared to a normal one here, look, which is only 8. So it does increase the value. So let's actually get some more on the go. We've got 15 more here. Let's age this one. We'll do it with all the wine, aged wine. Aged wine. That's going to be good. Hello Sharky, I hope you get some rest. How is everyone doing? Yeah, I got some good rest. I, I slept pretty good. I think I was passed out. I was worried that I wasn't going to get any sleep. Uh, good sleep, you know, because I was staring at a screen for so long. But you know what? I think I was that tired and exhausted. I just kind of collapsed. <laughs> it was really nice. One of the best sleeps I've ever had. Oh my god, we got the VIP coming today, guys. We're going to open the tavern up later. That's going to be exciting. And it looks like we've got some pretty... We're stocked up. We are stocked up. So let's put the aged wine in there. What is our best seller right now? So the aged wine is 11. What is good to sell? I think that's... So far, that's one of our best, right? Look at those Christmas logs, guys. 11 silver. We've got 75. They're just as good as the aged wine. Just by a little. A little less. The white wine's pretty good, the rose wine. Maybe aging, that might be quite good as well. And then there's the beer. Doesn't sell for as much, but you get more out of it. I mean, one barrel gives you quite a lot of beer, so... Yeah, alright. I wanted to make some of that ghostly breath from the Halloween update, because that was uh, very valuable here. But we need mead. And we need more... Barrels, okay. We're gonna have to order some barrels, I think, because... Oh no, look, we got... Oh, hold on. We got some mead... Mead here. But, I just want plain mead, because obviously it's gonna lose its value, so I'm gonna pull all this out. I never realised you could uh, link Discord and YouTube. Yeah. It's really good as well, because if you join the Discord server and you're a member on the my channel, you will automatically get assigned the role. And it's, it's pretty good. It's handy for me to know as well who the members are. If I ever do, like, member special giveaways or whatever. I hope you went to sleep before midnight. Yes, I did. Yeah, and the VIP won't come. I did do the... Um, I made sure I went to sleep before midnight. I think I slept about 10pm. So we should definitely get the VIP today. Hopefully, because I definitely did sleep before midnight. That's why I played through an extra day on myself before the stream, just to kind of make sure I did that. 
Right, we've pulled all those. And because I need those barrels, all the ke kegs, sorry. There we go. I'm going to get some more of those. We can actually make them in the workbench, it says. Oh, I wonder if we can craft some. That might be very, very good. Look at all this stuff. Oh, it's stocked up. We're nearly full. How do we add Sharky's a friend? Peggy, if you've joined the Discord server, I will find your name and I'll send you a friend request. If you're in the server already, I can find you pretty easy. Or you can click on my name and send me a friend request. Obviously, you'll see my name in the server. So what's trending right now is anything that's got grapes in it, white grapes, corn and onion. So I did make some roast beef here because that's trending too with onion and corn in it. So that's going to be popular. And just red wine in general. People are loving it. They want it. So now let's make the normal mead. I'm not going to put anything in it because this is going to get turned into the ghostly breath. And I'm going to craft some kegs because I feel like we need those. <laughs> booty shark doo -doo -doo -doo. it's nice to see that emote again <laughs> the members are having fun with that juicy booty shark we love it so that's a sawmill that's not what we want it's this one there they go guys we need some iron sheets it's going to use our planks though but I think it's worth it we seriously need at least six so we've got three four Oh, we're getting two out of that. Ten planks, though. All right, I'll do another lot. So we can get four. We do need those large benches and tables, too. But I guess what we could do with the money that we've currently got. Why don't I order one more large table and re replace the small one? It's only one gold. I'll take it. I mean, it's a bit expensive, but all right. It's better than crafting it. <laughs> You're in the server? Nice. I'm not sure how to link YouTube with Discord. If you just send me or Alice a message, we'll go through it with you, Kevin. So we need some wood. But I'm gonna, I've got to open the tavern for the VIP, so let's do that first. I'll go and get more planks tomorrow. Let's just open up the tavern. Get that water. I'm going to hire the staff. This is going to be very important. So we don't mess up. And the order might come as we're open, and I can kind of put the big table... No, because people are going to be sat on it, aren't they? Shall we wait till it comes? Let's see what, see what happens in the next one hour. Also, I've figured out the parrot. So, if I stand here the whole time the tavern's open, sometimes he'll speak. He'll say something good or he'll say something bad. And if you give him the cracker at the time he says it, we'll determine what kind of parrot is going to be. If he's going to be a bad cat, uh, like a bad parrot or a good one. Yeah, the bird hatched. We did it in the stream yesterday in the big 12-hour live stream. We played Traveler's Rest for a few hours. And we did it, just walking around and it hatched. And we actually renamed him Mango. It was a suggestion from the chat. And he was born on the 20th of summer. He's a little bit naughty right now. He's not a very good parrot, guys. Oh, there he is. Okay, we're going to have to open. Otherwise, we're going to be paying them money. So let's go for it. There's the VIP straight away. She's here. One of the first ones in. She's not playing. Okay, let's be on our best behavior, guys. What we're going to have to do as well is create some light. I think someone wants to come for a room. I'll go and speak to them in a second. We'll do a bit of haggling. There we go. Let's get some lights up in here. Yeah, I think that'll be good. 
I put the fire on at 7 p.m. So let's try and get a good price for this person. So I've put them into the higher comfort. Oh no, I didn't haggle. Oh, I, tr I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. He just got a bargain for that room. I clicked the tick instead of haggle. The next, we've got another room. I'll have to make sure I do it on that one. Damn it. Go on, clean the VIP's table. God damn, don't slack. Wait for the parrot to speak as well. So we can't actually speak to the VIP, but while she's here, the experience points or the reputation is gonna be a lot higher, guys. It's kind of like a bonus. You get a bonus money, XP and stuff while she's here. That's if you keep everything up and running, okay? There's a bird. Yeah, we got a little parrot. Yeah, the music in this game is golden. It reminds me of like Pirates of, Pirates of the Caribbean. Very medieval, old style. How are you live again? I've been sleeping. I've slept near enough. I had a great sleep, Violet. I passed out up until the afternoon. It's 8 p.m. I woke up around what? 1, 2 p.m.? Oh, there's a room. Okay, so here we go, guys. So this room here, if we haggle. So right now, they're going to pay 76 silver to stay. Let's try and increase that. It's gone up to 88 already. This is the big one, though. Oh, one gold already. Come on. No! 94 silver. I'll take that. We did increase it a little bit. If you get three in a row, it's so good. And obviously, the more comfort that the rooms have got as well, the more money they'll pay. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. So both... all oh, the VIP. Oh, no, I thought that was the VIP. She's still here. But look at the reputation already, guys. We're nearly level 10. This is really good. Yeah, we've got candles on the tables. We're all good. The fire's going on soon. It's not letting me message you on, or anyone on Discord. Really? Good choice. There we go, look. The parrot said something good, so we just gave him a cracker. It's not letting me message you. Why is it not letting me message, message anybody? Alice, is, has Kevin got the uh, the moderator role? Maybe we need to change the, the role permission. got level 11 guys level 11 we can now start making cheese baby let's go no i don't have a magic room upstairs too we've got um a cleaner you hire a worker and you, i think you pay 10 silver per room and when the people leave the cleaner automatically comes and cleans them so i never have to do it uh, you can buy cheese green cheese aging rack from the post box you can also unlock cheese recipes oh my god that's amazing guys I can't wait to start making that. That's going to be amazing money. Yes, Violet, there is a Discord server now. If you click the link, what is pinned at the top of the stream here, you should be able to join. And if you're a member, make sure you've linked your Discord to your YouTube channel and you'll get the member role. So you can access all of the member-only rooms and channels. Oh, this fire's got to go on. Are you ready? Boom. Oh, it's too warm. A little bit later. So they might not want it until about 8 pm then. They're saying they're too warm. Delicious, delicious. Give crackers. Oh. Why? Are we not. Why did you not want any? Oh, you can only do it once. Someone's angry. Okay, it's going up a little bit. Look at that. It's getting, it's getting a good parrot. Okay. Fire can go on now. The VIP's going. No, you're going for more drinks or food? Ooh. Cheese. Love the cheese. It's 
So far, so good. Only one person kicked off. Everything's getting cleaned. We can probably close very soon. I'm, I'm, I'll probably wait till the VIP leaves. Although last time, the VIP just left on their own terms. Shall I actually close the tavern and see if anything happens? Because last time, the VIP didn't really say anything. Like I said, I think you just get bonus XP. Look at the cat playing with the parrot. What a lovely journey it's been. The atmosphere is so cool in this game. Music, the cozy vibes, the fire, all the people talking, the sound effects. This is probably one of the most coziest games ever. <laughs> that money rolling in guys we're nearly hitting 20 gold I've never had that in this game caught it early this time yeah but it's not gonna be 12 hours though Nicole <laughs> not again just a nice little cozy one to get back into things kind of dewinding from the aftermath of the chaotic stream I felt like I was all over the place Kevin, you have to be friends with us on uh, Discord in order to message us, I think. I'll, uh, I'll go into my Discord and have a little look in a second. See what's going on. We'll close this tavern up. Yo, look! Oh, did you see the parrot? He called people ugly! I'm not going to give you a cracker for that, that's naughty! Oh my god, he's just calling all of my customers ugly. Damn thing. Yeah, this game is still early access, yeah. Can't wait for full release. If it's this good already, just imagine, guys. The roadmap is incredible. Seasons, fishing, farm animals, new areas, a town, NPCs. Oh, come on. Right, last orders, I think, when these all sit down. Take a seat, fellas. There we go. 21 gold. Ooh. And everyone's leaving. Hey, it's all good, Kevin. We'll sort it, we'll sort it. That doesn't look too good. This goddamn parrot is more asshole than it's worth. Right, go home. Thank you for your service. Now we should probably. Oh, is there an easier way to do this? If you pick up the uh, the candles, it stops them from burning out, so you can actually get more use out of them. Otherwise, they'll just burn out if you don't open the tavern. And these things aren't cheap. I don't know if there's an easier way to pick these up. Okay, you can just do that. Right, that's it. We'll save. We'll keep one on just so we've got a bit of light. That wasn't bad. Oh, I meant to open the door. Maybe that's bad having him right there. Yeah, both the rooms are done. Right, okay. Let's maybe get some sleep and then we're going to go and forage around the map and try and get lots of stone and wood. That's what we need. So we can do some expansion in the tavern. Also, Belinda, if she's still here, just to let everyone know, she did claim the hoodie from the giveaway. It's worked. <laughs> she's got the giveaway. 
So somebody's claimed the mug and it's getting sent to them and someone claimed the hoodie. All paid for, all getting shipped. Um, I've already sent, well actually, the, the gift cards. I can't send the Steam one. Somebody wanted a Steam one until you're friends for like a certain amount of time. So I've just got to wait until I'm actually allowed to send the gift card. Uh, and I was still waiting for Sassy to message me what kind of gift card she wanted. So all the giveaways are getting sorted from yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to sleep right now. I'll just leave the cat alone, guys, now. <laughs> I've got the full hearts, and I'm just like, yeah. Don't care anymore. Yeah, there's Belinda. There she is. I finally did it. Thanks to my son, yeah. Her son helped her. I'm glad. I really thought she wasn't going to be able to claim it, and that would have been really, really sad. Because it was a premium hoodie, you know? It's the good stuff, the cozy hoodie. Oh, ghostly breath. Yeah, this is the good stuff, guys. Cider, let's get this on. We need all of anything that I've not got anything of, I'm gonna make. Get this production going for today for today. I need this dark malted barley. You need so much of this to make beer. I need another one of these tables, guys. That's actually what I'm gonna do as well. We need coal. I want one of those tables. I'm gonna craft another one of those and have two, I think. And maybe one of these grinders as well. We've got three kitchens, which is not too bad. I think this stuff's still trending. We don't really need to cook. We've got a lot of food right now. We're nearly going into another month. Oh my god. Oh, the aging should be done too. Everyone loves the music in this game. It's so good, right? Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Is it, is it okay? So we've got some more aged wine, guys. Oh, someone just left the room. Thank you. I don't know if it's worth... Because we've only got two rooms. Look, there's the cleaner. Maybe we could actually do this. Do we actually need a cleaner for this? This is costing us 20 silver, guys, every day. Because it's 10, 10 per room. I guess when you've got a lot of rooms, it's quite handy. But we could easily clean those. Maybe I should just dismiss it for now. Go home as well. What are these doing here? Paying them money for nothing? Oh. I'm going to dismiss everybody. Yeah, look. Um, 10 silver per rented room. And these are 12 silver per hour. It's very expensive, guys. That soon adds up. Right, let's go and gather everything that we need to do today. Also... Oh, yes. We've got the new table, guys. The new big, large table and benches. So we can actually swap out now. So what I'm going to do is... Get rid of those small ones. Put the coasters on the big ones. And there's the large table. Keep it in... F oh, that's not going to work because you're not going to be able to get a bench there. Hmm. That's going to be annoying. Oh, this is going to get in the way. Move that out of the way a second. We can have one down the bottom here. There's going to be like a little bit of an open space here. Hmm. You only can have one that way. We might, that might have to do. Maybe we can have another one of these 
small ones. We've got the table now, right? I wonder if we can get this in. Can we squeeze another one of those in? Get through there. Ooh. Okay. Maybe we'll go across one more, though. What about that? Does that work? It's a bit clunky, but we've got to think about spaces, guys. The more people, the more money. I'm just going to have to do that, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's put these back on the table, too. Ready for the candles. These give us good comfort. Four for each one. There we go. Thinking maybe getting some kind of shelf up here. Underneath the window. Because then we can put like incenses, a little decoration on there, get that comfort up. The comfort right now is 178 in here, so it's not too bad actually. I'll clear up the inventory if we're going to go out. Stuff, guys, it's done. I need more of this dark malted barley. Get all this stuff on the go before we leave. We need a fruity rose wine for the quest, so I'm going to do the strawberry one. Need more kegs, too. We've got free mead. We can keep that because we can actually use it for the ghostly breath, right? We just need limes. Oh, we've got no limes? Oh, no. Right, hold on. I'm going to actually keep hold of this mead then. Store that in the chest there. Oh, ghostly breath. I love that stuff. It's amazing. Look how much it sells for, guys. 12 silver for one. Really, really good. I think so far it's one of the most expensive things we can actually sell in the tavern. this away, give us some space before we leave. That sounds good to me. So I'm going to get some lime trees as well. Grow some more of those. Don't think we've got any at all, so let's do it. Maybe get like 10 of those. Oh, the peaches are done for one last time. Get a few harvests before they disappear. Apples and pears too. Always good to have. And now we've got lots of space for the lime trees when they get delivered. Don't really want to dig any more soil. I think this is enough to work with for now. Oh, got the empty kegs. Perfect. Perfect. We need those really bad. Put the fruit away. Right, this one's aged, but those ones haven't. But we'll just maybe put them all on there for now. Hey Sharky, how are you? What time did you finish in the end last night? James, I finished at 3am. 
which should have been 2 a.m. in the morning, but because the clocks went forward due to the uh, daylight saving, <laughs> it turned out to be 3 a.m., which was insane. So I didn't sleep till about 3.30. I just had a little freshen up, had a little, like, what dewind time. I had some fresh air outside, which was very nice. And then, uh, yeah, it was starting to get light. I could hear the birds tweeting and everything. I was like, I need to get some sleep, man. This is crazy. First time catching you live. Hope you and the family are all doing well. Love to watch your videos while crafting. It is very relaxing. Thank you so much, Bree. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you uh, enjoy the streams and the videos. Have a nice, cozy time. What do you craft? This game seems really complex compared to what I'm used to playing. I'd get overwhelmed. It's actually not that bad, Violet. It's a lot easier than it, it looks, to be honest. You get the hang of it pretty fast. If, if, if you want complex, go and play Graveyard Keeper. That game is very complex. Some birds are night active. Yeah, but... It was basically early hours in the morning. I need to go up and get that coal. Maybe what we can do is turn some of the wood into fuel. Is it charcoal or something you can do? Because this, I feel like we need fuel really bad right now. You crochet? Oh, well, Alice is going to love you. My girlfriend crochets a lot. Uh, currently working on a jacket for my LARP persona. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. The music is great and it changes. Many games just play the same thing over again. Yeah, I mean, when this game first got released as an early access, they did only have one looping song, and it was very frustrating. But they have now added a kind of a soundtrack. There's quite a lot of songs. And I think there's more coming too. You've got a pair of owls nesting in the tree outside your bedroom window. Oh, that's awesome. They're so I love owls. Yeah, this game is called Traveler's Rest. You've nearly got a finished sweater that you've knitted, but right now you're back into crocheting dollies? Is that meant to be dollies? I'm, so many people crochet. It's crazy. It looks like Stardew Valley. Does it? I don't think it does. Stardew Valley is very pixelated. This is a bit cleaner. More 3D as well. This game is honestly, guys, nothing. It's nothing to do with Stardew Valley at all. It's a completely different game. You own a tavern. You don't own a farm. You can't get married. It's more similar to Graveyard Keeper, in my opinion, than it is Stardew Valley. Getting so much wood. This is incredible. I'll help you, Kevin. We'll get through it. I promise. There's something that's not right. Are you actually in the Discord server? Have you joined the server? Let me have a look. Well, there's Peggy. I see Peggy. <laughs> The legend. I'm trying to get this figured out, I think. What we need to do here. If we do this. You should be able to in a second. Let me know, Kevin, if you can message in the general chat in the server. If you go into the general bit and start messaging and send one, let me know if it actually works. If so, I know what I've got to do. Just 
just let me know if it works. Sorry guys, just trying to get this Discord thing figured. Hopefully it's working. Like I said, if you do want to join the server, there's a link at the top of the stream that's pinned. Anyone can join. But if you are a member, just make sure you link your YouTube to your Discord. So you can get the member role, the little rep tag. So then you can enter the special member only uh, lobbies and rooms and stuff. Hey Sharky, how you feel? Are you recovered? Yeah, I'm, I'm halfway there, Shailene. I had some really good sleep. I actually ate the leftover pizza. How many people do that? If you order a pizza, who has the cold pizza the next day? And do you enjoy it? I had a few, a, a few slices left over from yesterday. So I just finished it off. Always. <laughs> so many people, eh? You love cold pizza. <laughs> well, there we go then. Everybody does it. Um, let's get some more trees planted. Because this wood is the good stuff. I love that they give you so many saplings back now. So much better. I mean, it's still not... No, it's not actually that bad. I was going to say, we probably have to buy a little bit more. Let's get rid of all this grass so I can actually plant some more as well. Because we need that space. The grass doesn't stop the trees from growing. You just can't put the saplings on there. And it does spread as well. So satisfying just getting rid of all the grass like this. I love it. Maybe I should keep some grass because in the next update, the farm animals are coming. And we possibly might need to scythe this for the food, uh, the animal feed. So I'm actually going to keep some because I've got a funny feeling we're going to need it. Because at the moment, the grass doesn't actually give you anything. It's kind of a pointless thing to have in the game. Other than just being quite annoying and taking up the room to plant. So I think we're gonna gonna be have to use that grass very soon. Right, I need to go and hunt for some coal. Don't need iron and copper. I think we're doing quite good with that. I need this stone though as well. What was on the pizza in the end? Uh, it was a hot and spicy one, James. Green peppers, jalapenos, onion, beef, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, it had mushrooms on it, which I'm not a fan of. And then I think it was just cheese and tomato. Oh, and like bell peppers as well. Your classic peppers. Really nice. You know what? It was a good pizza. And it was stuffed crust. The chat didn't mess around. They looked after your boy Sharky. Kind of. Because <laughs> it was spicy. <laughs> And it had mushrooms on it. The grass does respawn, yeah. But it's quite slow. You know, it's not... Uh, this has took a very long time to get to where it was. So it, it's not a very quick growing thing. 
So that's why I want to keep like pockets of it just in case I do need to get animal food and then I can just get it quite fast. Kind of, I'm just going to let it grow all over, you know? But guys, look how much wood we've got. This is going to be insane. We should get a lot of planks for this. Oh my god. So let's put all the wood away in here for now. We've got 99 there and 43 there. I've never had that much wood ever. In a second, I'm going to create some planks. Let's store all this good stuff away. Twenty-one coal. Mm, we need more than that. Right, there's mortar and stone though. Let's put that in the building. The building one. This is the four things that we need for building. I've got sixty-two planks in there already. I need more stone blocks too. Stone blocks. Let's uh, put the stone away in here. Polished stone. I'm going to do a big round of stone blocks. Yeah, three for one. That's not too bad. I'm going to have a nighttime coal run. We're going to go to the top of the map and hit the coal spots. I know it's quite late. We'll see if we can do it fast. I think it's working now. Nice. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. You're back in the Discord. Whoop, whoop. You love chicken and pineapple on the pizza? Seems odd, but it's really good. You know what? I'll talk about the pizza situation. Uh, the pineapple, right? There's a few reasons why I think it's good, and a few reasons why I think it's not very good. It's kind of 50-50 with me, and I can understand why some people don't like pineapple on pizza. But for me, I don't mind it, because I like sweet and salty things. If you are one of those people, You'd understand. If you like sweet and salty as a combination, so, I don't know, like salted caramel, you know, something like that. Um, it's a great combination, and that's why pineapple on pizza is good. Because it gives you the sweetness from the pineapple, especially when it caramelizes. And also you get the saltiness from the ham, if you have an Hawaiian, and the cheese. So it's good. Now, the only downside to having pineapple on the pizza, right is when pineapple cooks, it gets, the water leaks from it, right? And it can make your pizza quite soggy. <laughs> and that's, if it, if it weren't for that reason, I'd probably have ham and pineapple quite a lot. Or pineapple in general. But it does make your pizza base quite soggy because it leaks a lot of fluid. The water just seeps out of the pineapple. But I love the taste of pineapple, it's delicious. You know what, I'd rather just eat pineapple raw. Just give me some juicy chunks of pineapple. Fruit should never be on a pizza. Yeah, but who says? Tomatoes are fruit. That's on a pizza all the time. Olives? Are, are olives classed as fruit? I don't know. There's no law or rule saying that fruit should not be on a pizza, guys. But it's just uh, an opinion. Some people might like it. Some people might hate it. <laughs> Do you know what's worse than pineapple on pizza, guys? Mushrooms. Do you know what's worse? Even worse. Fish. Sardines. Anchovies. <clears throat> prawns. Disgusting. Though, those things should not be on pizza, all right? Fish does not belong on a pizza. Disgusting. Mushrooms literally give me the... I get goosebumps when I think about mushrooms. They are so vile. Ugh. Make me shiver. You can keep the fish. <laughs> yeah. Pineapple all the way. <laughs> I love seeing it. It's, everyone's so different. Like I said, it's just preference. If you're a fan of sweet and salty things together, and then you're going to love pineapple on pizza. It's just one of them things. Yeah. 
Your favourite is spinach bacon. With no tomato sauce, but you have Alfredo sauce. Oh my god, that's just a pimped up pizza, that one. <laughs> that's a glorified pizza. Oh, look at them planks, guys. <laughs> and we've still got 132 wood. What? I'm sorted for a while. I am sorted for a while. We're actually going to go ahead and get... A nice small shelf to put underneath. Oh, can't, can we? I was going to put underneath the windowsill. We'll do it for tomorrow. I've got a little bit more stone as well, which is good. Did I get any coal? 32 now. Yeah. That's better. Okay. Yeah, we're looking decent now, guys. We're stocked up. We can probably start expanding, expanding in the morning. We'll do um, a new room. Oh, we can make some cider. I've not really made any of this before. Apple. We need that lime. Apple pear and let's put in a melon. It's a very fruity, juicy Cider. Yeah, the stream started about, is it? Yeah, nearly one hour ago, 51 minutes. Thank you for the sharky, I needed it. So nice to relax. No worries, JP, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining the stream. I'm having a nice cozy one today. I needed this too. <laughs> I had a crazy 12 hour stream yesterday. So, uh, oh, this is nice, guys. This is so cozy. This game is just, it just hits the spot, you know? There's something about this game that is just so cozy. Right, let's um, wait for the people. Are the people left the room? I think they already have, right? Yeah. And they're all cleaned and ready. So let's maybe do the upgrade. We've got 20 gold. We've got lots of planks and stuff now. Let's get that new room up and, up and ready. And you guys can help me decide what to do with it. We're going to redesign it. We're going to decorate. Why is that not working? That's glitched out. Look at that. It's actually not working. How strange, eh? Let's see if it works working now. There we go. That's happened a few times. I noticed that happened on the anvil once as well. That must be a little bug. Just doesn't produce the stuff. Oh well. Ooh. Another harvest of oranges out of nowhere. Let's plant those limes as well. I think I'm gonna buy some new seeds. And we're actually gonna go and get some where are they? Potatoes! Yes, we're gonna do it. We need some. I'm gonna get 15 potatoes. We're gonna go with some, get some more pumpkin. At the moment, there's no seasons, but it is coming. So soon, you can see the different colors, I think. No, that's just herbs, fruit trees, and veg. But you're gonna have to plant them depending on the season, which is gonna be quite it's gonna be quite challenging. Because, you know, certain vegetables give you certain notes, like you know, aromatic or sweet, herb, you know, I don't know. So if you need a certain one, you're gonna have to wait till the next season, you know? It's gonna be quite interesting. But at the moment you can just plant whenever you want. Let's go with some tomatoes! Tomato! What else do I think we need? Maybe more red grapes as well. But those are like bushes, so they're quite big. <gasps> mangoes! Let's get some beautiful mangoes! My favourite, guys! need a bit more garlic. I use a lot of this. We plant a lot of garlic here. I use it for a lot of stuff. 
cauliflower. I don't think we've got any cauliflower. Why not? Bananas as well? Let's get some bananas, guys. No, we don't need that many. They're big trees. Let's get five. Alright, let's go. I'm ready for that. And then the... Yeah, the lime ones are here. Let's go plant these ones first. Let's put them maybe here. We can get six there. That might be enough. No, we need the lime for the ghostly breath. So I'm just going to plant a little bit more down here. Let's try and get them all in. Beautiful. There we go. Wait for the order to come. I'm going to do some more stone blocks here. And then we'll start expanding. I was waiting for these planks. Because it glitched out. There we go. And look at that. We've got more blocks, more planks. Yes, we can do some big expansions now. Oh my god. Nails. Let's make sure we've got a lot of them as well. Yes, look at all that. <laughs> We're grinding right now. A multi machine. Is that what we needed? I wanted another one of those, right? There's the distillery. Hold on, let me look at the tech tree a second. No, it's not here. Where am I looking? Here we go. Uh, oh, guys, the cheese. We can do it. There we go. Oh my god, we can make mozzarella, cheddar. Look at all that. That's so good. Oh my god. So I think if you go to... We can actually... Is it the workbench? There's the aging shelf. We need that. Definitely need that. So we need wooden poles. And some nails. We need to make that, guys. Big time. Let's get some poles. Lots to do. Let's wait for that to pop off. You're hungry for cheese tray. Oh, cheese is the best. Yeah, we're going to make an aging rack. Just going to wait for the poles. How was the 12-hour stream, Sharky? Crab, it was... Uh, you know what? It was fine up until about the 8-hour mark. The last 3 or 4 hours was very, very hard. I kind of hit a brick wall. I was like, oh. You start to get a numb bum. <laughs> you sat on your ass for so long. My neck was killing me. Uh, I started to get an headache from staring at the screen so much. Uh, my legs started to stiff up. I'm not made for it, guys. I can't sit for 12 hours at a time. <laughs> I'm not a teenager anymore. <laughs> you were sick, so you couldn't make the stream. Oh, I hope you're better, though, Crab. I became a zombie. No, I didn't, Jennifer. I was fine. Come on. I wasn't that bad, was I? <laughs> yeah, I did start to slow down. I could see the finish line. We had like 10 minutes to go and I was like, oh, it was the longest 10 minutes of my life. <laughs> You're going to make poutine tonight. Oh, that's meant to be, isn't that basically like chips, gravy, uh, I, I can't remember what it is, but I've seen, I've seen it. Never had it though, never had it. Let's get those nails. Oh, we already got them. Yes. So we should be able to make the aging shelf. Boom! We've got two of those as well. That crafting bonus coming in sweet. I really want this. I want to get the haggling up, guys. So we can buy things at 70% of the price instead of 80. So it's going to be cheaper to buy things, but we actually sell things for more. And then we get 80% haggling profit. We need to really do that. And then the crafting's next too. Poutine is so good. Oh yeah, cheese as well, yeah. Cheese curds, that's it. That's it, cheese curds. Fries, yeah, chips, gravy, and cheese curds. That's it. <laughs> you know what? It sounds quite nice, to be fair. <laughs> it sounds good. 
You're used to sitting for that long. Give over. I never go 12 hours sat down. I'm not staring at a screen anyway. <laughs> so close in your face. <laughs> Just little breaks in between is right. Very nice, you know. Stretching those legs. Right, let's have a look about doing some of this. Expansion time, baby! Iron bars can go away. I love that you can craft from the chests. It's really good. Really good. We already had seven poles, never mind. There's 40 planks in here as well. And we've got 15 peach seeds. What the hell? What are they doing there? I think I was delirious yesterday. <laughs> I just started putting things everywhere. It's crazy. Let's see if the order came too. I'm not going to put too many of these peach down because we need space. Maybe just put two there. There's the aging shelf. Come on. So apparently we could buy something from the mail. Something to do with the cheese that you actually need. Was it just this? No, there it is. The cheesery. Look at this, guys. Oh, let's go. Now, I don't think you can craft that. So we do have to actually purchase it. A work zone for outdoor work areas. Oh, to have another work area. That might be quite handy. More space? I think we're managing right now though, but it'd be good to have another maybe stone or wood workplace so we can get even more planks. So that's one gold, so I'll just leave it for now. Let's get the cheesery though. Is there anything else that we need? Cheese starter. We're clearly going to need some of this, right? I don't know. I'm going to buy some. I've just got a feeling we might need it. Why some of these vegetables got gold quality on them, guys? Are they trending? Oh yeah, they are trending. I'm sure they are. Chili? No, it can't be. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to also get some more ale yeast to make that ale. We're going to get some lager. And the wine. Always, always good to get. We'll get some champagne as well. We're spending some money right now. But it's going to come in handy, I promise. We're going to make a return on that. Let's purchase. Get the cheese starter. You need it. There we go. I had a feeling. Look at all the seeds. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, go, go. So let's take them away. I'm going to put some banana trees down. And the mangoes, the grapes. Let's do these ones first. The fruit. Maybe we should have one mango, one banana. Let's do another mango, banana, mango, banana. The grapes can go mm, just in the middle here. a little bit of a gap there, but it's fine. Got to wait for these trees to to come through. Maybe I should dig another slot. I don't know. Let's get some of these ones. Potatoes! Can't forget those, guys. Let's get the potatoes in. Get the pumpkins, too. Oh, these are on canes. We can walk through them. Which I love about this game. We might just be able to have enough here for the garlic. And we'll have to do the cauliflower down here. There was a gap down here, right? Right. 
There we go. It's all in the ground. We don't have to water as well. Fantastic. Let's go over to here. Let's do the building. We're going to go upstairs. Potato! Nicole is a warrior. You had too many cocktails for Scribble. <laughs> How am I going to do this? How wide do these? One, two, are they free? Look how expensive this is though. What the hell? Right, is that the same as that? I don't know how to do this. How do you get a wall? have to get rid of oh god it's just got rid of it all oh, what the hell guys how do you do this because I want a we need a door there right but it's not letting you put that down just yet It's not... I don't know how you do it. Do we need to make an area first? Like a zone? Crafting. No, remove zone. No, it's just a door, right? The door actually makes the zone. But I don't have to do the actual room. Because it doesn't let you do it. Uh. There's no path to the entrance of it. Oop. So then they have, like, one go in there like that, right? I don't understand how this works. You have to do the room first. But how do you get... You can't build a wall. Change the view to the layout view. Like this. I see. What the hell? So hold on, hold on. So if you go across like this. Right. And then here it's one, two, three. One, two, three. So then I go up. It goes up like two. And then you have a gap, gap each side. And then you go there, there, there. I'm guessing it's like this. Just basically copy that. That's got to be right, okay? But then how do you put the door on? Oh, it, okay. We did it. We did it. That is very confusing. I, I agree. It's so much better when you actually do it in that view that's a good little tip because yeah the walls get confusing right can't actually do it now um, yeah I love that that's amazing so we can actually change the floor of this as well so if we go to flooring let's do something completely different let's put in like a dark wood oh look at oh, guys we've got no money what the hell? No, 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 no. <gasps> We've only got one gold to our name. <laughs> it's so expensive. 
Hey Shark, big fan. Kevin and I have been watching your channel for forever and love your videos and streams. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much, Cheese Puff. I really appreciate that. I'm glad to have you and Kevin around. Well, okay, we've got one room, guys. That's the best we can possibly do. I can't do any flooring just yet. We're going to open the tavern and we're going to make some money, okay? That was, that was baffling. They need to make that a little bit easier. But we got there in the end. Let's get that bar open, guys. We need that dollar dollar bill, y'all. I'm just going to check what other resources like. I think the main issue is the gold, right? Okay, we did use an absolute crap ton of nails. So everything's okay over the nails and gold. They seem to be the most... Yeah, the things that you use the most, to be honest. No fuel, for God's sake. I hate that you have to fuel this thing. It actually does stress my life out. It's a bloody anvil! You don't fuel an anvil! Um, shall I hire staff? Or shall I just make... Do it all myself? Do you know what I might do? I'm going to actually be the bartender today. Save, Let's save some money. I'm going to hire a cleaner. And we're going to do the rest of our work ourselves. We're going to kick people out. And we're going to serve... At food and drink. Let's save a little bit of money because we are skint, basically. So when this person arrives, in fact, we can probably open right now. We can do the little bit on ourselves. Fuel in the forge. No, you you put. It's asking me to put fuel into the anvil, not the forge. I know you have to fuel the furnace, of course. I should be able to use the anvil without having to put coal in it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Rented room. We're going to haggle. Let's go, guys. So starts at 59 silver, that's not great, is it? Right, come on, focus. Straight up to 69. Oi, oi! Look how annoying this one is. But I did it! Woo! Let's go! 89, we boosted that up quite a bit. I'll take that. Right, we're serving. Ghostly breath, thank you, sir. 13 silver. That's where that money is. Uh, I do need to put the candles on too. And also, I've actually got some rose. Oh, that's for the quest. We need, to, we need to keep that. And the cider. We've actually not even pulled the beer, but it's fine. Why coal on an anvil? It doesn't make sense, does it? A coal doesn't need... An uh, anvil doesn't need to coal. A smelter or a furnace or a forge does. I don't know why that's a thing. You should be able to freely use the anvil with no fuel in it at all. There's another room, guys. There's another room. So it's clean. So she's asking for 46. I'm going to refuse that one. She's actually um, giving us a very low value there. Let's try and find one higher. Who are you? 77. See, now that's more like it. Let's go. Let's haggle. We need to look out for that, guys. We need to start off with a good price, at, at least. And then haggle even higher. We're already nearly at gold. Come on, but let's get a gold for this room. Come on, Sharky. Right, right in the middle. Yes! One gold and 17 silver for that room. That's amazing. Thanks, love. Enjoy your stay. Just wait till we get even more rooms, guys. And we can get them at a gold each. Oh, that's where the money is. Three in a row. That was skills. When we get to level 12, guys, the reputation at the bottom 
we can actually start distilling. We can make vodka, whiskey, rum. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. Imagine aging that, making some whiskey and aging it. That's just gonna sell for so much. I'm special in the best way. <laughs> I'm sure Kevin agrees. Money from food coming in quick. Look at that already, guys. Five gold. We can just open every single night. We'll be fine. You forgot about the brush that auto cleans. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> I was so buzzing when I found out that item was in this game. The mop being able to clean the floor is so good. got to say the bar looks very nice I'm glad I'm glad you think so spend some time it's looking all right it's not too bad right just think when we expand it a little bit get a bit more room it'd be really cool I'd love them to add things like imagine having some kind of almost like one of those little um, like a stage you know where you can get people come over and sing or perform or like comedy you know just something, imagine having like special guests come over and like being able to perform music and dance and stuff to increase the money and, and it'd be so cool to create little areas like that. Just to add something a little bit different inside the tavern, not just tables and chairs. Or like tables where people could come and play like board games, like you know, cards. A bit of gambling. Give the birds cookies. Yeah, he's not really speaking though, right? He's not really doing much yet. I'll keep my eye on him though. Let's see what he says. Sometimes he can be naughty and say horrible things. He calls all the people ugly. <laughs> a poker room. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> it was so cool. Oh, another ghostly breath just sold there. 13 silver. And a chocolate log. 12 silver back to back. Straight away, that made us some decent money. And then you just get somebody who wants bread. <laughs> oh look at that wine come on that was the aged one as well what a feast okay let's give him a cracker there we go he was a good boy well done mango you're the best parrot ever oh c candles candles Speedy, speedy. Bit of light, and let's put this fire on too. There we go. I've noticed there's a table in the bottom right there. And the top, both of them two on the end, I've not got a candle holder. So we're going to have to just put the candle in the table like that. Which is not great. This burns super fast. The last... Oh, there is actually... A candle holder just sat up there, relaxing on its own, you know. There we go. We don't need that up there. The fire's producing the light. I think we're doing good, though. Nearly on 10 gold already. Rolling that dough now, I know. Look how fast we've just made money straight away. So now we can put the money back into that room that we've just built. I can start putting some furniture in there. We know we need a bed, a table. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what else we can put in there, though. There's not much furniture at the moment for the rooms. I, I wish there was a lot more. Yeah, entertainment, that's it, yeah. Live music would be so cool. 
Just having someone there in the center or somewhere tucked away in the corner just performing music. And you got people, you know, sat around watching, listening. You need to preheat the anvils. Oops, someone's... Hold on. Get out of me, pub! Um, you need to pre preheat the anvils, so that's probably where the coal comes in. Yeah, I know, but come on, it's a game. Is it really going to go into it that much? Usually, right, don't you just, like... You use the anvil with something that's already super hot and then you just start hitting it. So, it doesn't really... You don't actually use physical coal on an anvil, right? Yes, Steve, after this stream, I'm going to post basically the picture that got cut off on the stream yesterday. I'm going to post it on my community section on the channel. So all you need to do is go onto my channel, go over to community, and you'll see the post there. And that's basically going to be the face review. I'm going to put my face up on there as, as a picture. <gasps> Look at him being naughty. Uh, yeah, I did do it yesterday in the stream, but YouTube only archives the streams at 12 hours. Anything after that, um, it just cuts off. And I didn't even realise this was a thing, so we did lose the footage, sadly. Obviously, the people who was watching live, they get to they got to see it. But the people who wanted to watch it back afterwards didn't get to see it, sadly. But I'm going to put it back up again, don't worry. It's going to be after the stream. I, I kind of wanted to announce that. That's why I did the stream today. To kind of discuss that situation, because it was a bit weird. Going to post his mugshot. Yeah, and yours. <laughs> back you had to switch out the laundry no worries gotta do those jobs last orders look at that guys back up to 12 gold let's go i've still got a ton of food and drink stocked up incredible in fact we've got plenty haven't we plenty of stuff in there Cup of tea is um, required. Make me one, please. JP, come on. T2 sugars. I would love one of those right now. Right, young sir. You can go home. I think another thing that they need to do to this game is randomly change the visuals of the, uh, the staff because they are the same. It will be cool to actually go over to here and these are random. And maybe they have skills, so some floor workers are faster than others. Um, some are better at keeping customers happy. Do you know what I mean? Bartender can serve quicker. And you can kind of like roll through them. Maybe it should give you a selection of three different bartenders and you have to select which one you think is the best for the day. I don't know, I think that would be kind of cool. Just a little bit of customization, you know? Because at the moment, they just they don't have any benefit. They're all the same. They all look the same. They don't even have names. It'd be nice just to have a name to your to staff, you know? A bit like a tycoon game. Guys, we're going to enter a new month for the third one. Get some more of this ghostly breath on the go when the limes come in. We've got zero white wine, so let's change that. Got lots of juniper berries for some reason. Biscuit. Never made any of that. Let's make two lots. Why not? But yeah, I need another one of these multi machines big time. Let's get that roasted 
barley. I know you need a lot of that for the beers. Do some roasted pork, shall we? Let's make it spicy. Let's put on some cabbage. I and mean, we don't really use the green beans or courgettes much, so let's do that. Got plenty of them stocked up. Another day, another day done. You're so worried, someone. And I thought that as well, Kevin. <laughs> I'm so glad you managed to get it. A new dawn, a new day. And it's gonna be the first. This should officially, right? If this, if this, hold on. Oh. No, today's the last day. Okay, fair enough. Of course, it was. Was it past midnight? I don't know. So tomorrow would officially be fall if the seasons were in the game. How crazy would that be? Dun, 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 dun. This music reminds me of something, and I don't know what. I don't know if it, is it Zelda? Pokemon? I don't. It reminds me of something so, so bad. Oh, look at that, guys! We can make cheese fondue and quiche. We need egg and milk. Oh, that's so cool. Do it, baby. Let's do it. Oh, cheese and garlic. It's always the best, right? Let's put some herbs in there as well. A bit of onion. Increase that price a bit. Huh? Oh, you've got to put the cheese in it. Of course. Oh, yeah, it's a requirement up there. And we've not got any of that yet, have we? As the... Uh, we've ordered it. It should be here. Hey, go home. We're not open. I wish they only turned up when they opened. Sat there getting free money. You cheeky bugger. There we go. We got the cheese maker. Ooh. I am well excited. Too excited, in fact. And we got the aging shelves too. Oh my god. Can we put the aging shelves down here in the cellar? I think this would make sense, right? Because we are aging them. We can! Come on! And this is where you age your cheese. Oh my god. Right, we've got the red wine. Let's age this white wine. I'm going to go and do that quest still for the rose, the rosé. The tavern's looking clean, I love it. Right, so there it is. Let's put that in there. Let's get 112 XP. Is that going to be enough though? Wheat lager fruity. Oh, we need to do one more quest. Let's do that wheat lager. If we can, hopefully. And I'll put this cheese maker down too. Right. You can go. Oh, look how cool that looks. Can we still? Yeah, I can get through both of there. Lovely. Guys, look. Oh my god, this is amazing. So we can make a cheese board. So who was that in the chat who was talking about those craving a cheese board? I bet you're craving it even more now. And we need to order milk. Let's go and order milk straight away. I'll, uh... I wonder why you don't need milk to make a cheese board, but you need milk to make everything else. 
Oh no, yeah, there we go. You can get a selection of cheeses. I like that, that's cool. Right, putty cat, move out the way. We've got to order some milk, and soon with the new update, guys, we're gonna be able to milk our cows, and we'll never have to buy this stuff again. Just think, milk and eggs will be coming in. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff, right? We're gonna need a lot of it. I might actually get like 50. <laughs> It's quite cheap, to be fair. 80 uh, bronze. Yeah, let's do that. And then we also need vinegar. I noticed we needed vinegar to make the, the fondue. Or the fond cheese fond? Cheese fondue? How do you pronounce that? Let's go. More of those planks. Let's do more iron bars. So look, that makes sense. Use fuel, you can see the fire. Whereas this doesn't need fuel. Come on. Oh, look at that armor. We could put that in the like on a wall in the new room. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That gives us 20 comfort. <laughs> Damn. That's amazing. And then we'll do some nails too. Fuel again! Come on, please. We're wasting coal. So this is... We can actually make firewood. And then can't you burn the firewood? Here, for coal. I'm going to do that. Because we have got plenty of wood at the moment. Let's try that. Let's try it. Got a random stool in here, I don't know why. Cheese is the best. It says Jade. It is indeed. Iron away. We've got lots of stuff to clear up. I need to break open those ciders. Well, not break them open, but pull the beer. Pull the beer. <laughs> We can make nice stone paths. I've never done any of that yet. I fancy these as well. Eight comfort. Those might be cool next to the, uh, the, the armor that we've got. So we can decorate that room today. Let's do it. Let's do it! I'm very organized. <laughs> I don't think I am, Peggy. <laughs> Look at all that coal now. That's good, that's good. Now, if we have more of these coal... Yeah, we definitely should do that, to be honest. We should make another coal storage, so we can actually produ produce more coal. Where is it, though? I thought we could do that somewhere. There it is. Let's make one of those coal stockpiles. We can oh, it's turned us into two. Oh, we've got two. That's amazing. The crafting, guys. We're out here. Now let's order some decorations for this new room that we're going to do. I don't know what to do with this one though. I like one of the, maybe... One of these banners looks quite cool. I think I'm going to go with a red rug as well. I quite like these banners. One of those horns as well. I kind of want something different to what we've had. That lion banner. I like the looks of that, guys. It's going to go with the red. We've got the on. I'm going to put the armor on the, the wall. Oh, this looks even better, to be honest.
A scarecrow, look at that! A pirate banner. Now, I quite like the lion one, he looks elegant. Let's get a painting. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit that on the wall, but we'll try. What else can we have? Quite like the idea of a lantern, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Now, of course, we need the bed. I wish you could have different beds. Imagine being able to have different styles and stuff. And the bedside table, isn't that... No, yeah, that's not required, but an actual table is. And it's this one, right? Individual. And we've already got a stool. Look at that. Decorative barrel. Decorative barrel. I'm going to have that in the room. Right, it's going to cost us four. Let's wait for that to come. I'm uh, excited to start decorating that room. You can have cobwebs, yeah. It depends if you want that. I think it came with the uh, the Halloween update. Which was very cool. We we'll probably need to craft one of those um, incense burners as well. They give you eight comfort. Always good to have. And of course, the candle holder to put the candle in there. Although, yeah, one of those would be better. The shining chandelier. We need some copper bars, though. Is that... God, that takes a long time. Holy crap. Okay. So we've got the statue, or the armor, and the axes. That's going to look so amazing. I wonder if we can actually fit any of these down here. Oh, it stands up! <laughs> that looks so cool! Guys, look at that! That's amazing! That's going to actually go right there. And they're amazing as well. Okay. Yeah, we could make a really nice room upstairs, to be honest. I like that a lot. Right, let's pull this beer. Two ciders. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's got amazing... I think it was 20 comfort just for that. Uh, Little Fox, this game is called Traveler's Rest. If you're trying to find out what it is. The order's been delivered. Nice. They should... The cobweb should appear over time. That'll be cool. <laughs> That'll be a cool feature. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for over 100 likes already on the stream. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, make sure you do. It does really help out the channel. Way more than you imagine. Look at that, guys. We've just got 40 cider from, one, uh, from two kegs. And of course, the aged red wine. All this stuff's getting in here to sell. We've got some roasted pork. Some shish kebab. We actually can't make anything else. We are fully stocked. We've got to be careful. That's literally all we can do. The order's got delivered. We've got to go and get that. We've got five mead to make the ghost of breath. When that lime comes, we're going to be absolutely laughing. Okay. 
all this stuff away, and then the new cheese starters. Let's have a good clear out of the old inventory. Oh, we've just made even more stuff. I don't think we can hold that. <laughs> oh no. We need to open the tavern. Guys, we can't even do anything with this. Right, I'm going to actually take out this nine red wine. Because we're going to age that. Any of this wine we should be aging. This is crazy. Oh, we're still waiting for that one. <laughs> right, we'll have to wait. Let's go and get the order. We are fully stocked up. Should last us so many uh, times to open the tavern. Should last oof, days. Out of all the stuff. Make that space. I'm going to put my seeds in here just out of the way for now. Oh, the coal stock pile. Come on. This is good. So now, when we use firewood, burn it down into coal, we should get even more from this. At the moment, we used to get two. And now, how much do we get? We need to try this. We need. Let's get the firewood. I want to see how different this is. Uh, firewood. We used to get two coal from this. Eight. No, no. Hold on. Is that the same? Was it eight before? So what did these do? I don't know if that's made a difference or not. Can't tell. Or is it using less firewood? I'm not sure. It's got to do something. Got to wait till you sell out. Yeah, I'm not going to be cooking or <laughs> making anything for a while. Let's get this order though. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god, the milk's here as well. Oh, we're going to have fun decorating this room. This is one of my favourite things to do in this game. It's so, so therapeutic. So cozy. Okay. Vinegar. Let's put the milk away. We can actually make the cheese now. But, uh, let's go with a, a classic cheddar. Ooh, cheddar cheese. Right, those two rooms. The people are still in there. Let's do this one, guys. Oh, should we change the floor? We've got enough money. I might quickly just do the floor. Oh, we might not have enough. I think it's one gold per floor panel, which is very frustrating. Oh, never mind. Let's, uh... Get the bed and of course the table. We've got the stool. Damn it. How about I have the bed in the middle this time? Kind of mix things up a little bit. And then we could have the... Uh... Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> that looks amazing. And then we can have the armor stand. Oh, wow. Can have the little table in this corner. Let's not forget the rug. Style. Go with that. Oh look, they left the rooms. Thank you. Oh, that's that might be better above the bed. Hold on. Oh, the phone. Uh, hmm. 
Oh, I really like that though. That looks so cool. It's just I don't think we'll be able to get this in as well. That's going to be for another room, I think. We can have on the walls up here. Look at that. Just to give the hallway a little bit of a spruce up a little bit. We can have a photo that we can change the style. Quite like the mushroom with the red on it to go with the theme a little bit. Or this as well. I don't know what that is. I know it might be too much, but... Did I get the shelf? Where's the little shelf that we got? To put these things on. The lantern was going to look amazing up there. I knew it. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be amazing. We've got to tidy this room here as well. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a shelf here. Like, the picture can go high up, and then a small shelf going underneath there, and then we can put, like, flowers and things on it. Oh, God, I opened the tavern by mistake. Oops. The horn. We've got a barrel that's decorative. Yeah, look, let's put the horn on the table. The barrel. Oh, yeah, look, that's going in that corner. Nice. Can we put things on top of there? Oh, please. Oh, we can? That's so good. I love those barrels already. They're like one of the favorite things. We just need a shelf that I can put some candles, incense burners on. We've got to get the stool for this because if we look down here, the room is missing a chair. It, it actually needs a light source and a chair. Hold on. I think this is classing as a light source. The lantern. This... If we change the floor of this room, I think it'll look really nice. So let's clean up. Oh. Hello, Pandy Purple. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Angry. I can't believe that you wasn't notified that you were live for this one or the other stream, Sharky. Kelly, what's going on? That's ridiculous. I'm glad you're here now, though. <laughs> Better late than never, I suppose. Uh, is that room all clean? Yep. That's looking good for the next person. Let's do this one. Clean, clean, clean. I mean, we normally pay people for this, but you know what? It's so easy to do ourselves, guys. I really wish you could change those beds. I want... They all look the same. I want them to be different, guys. I think that one's done, too. Yep. Let me check something. If I pick the bed up... No, you should be able to change the style like you can with the paintings and stuff. I really wish they did uh, different beds. Just the bedding, change them, you know, I want them to colour coordinate. Like this room's red, this one's blue, this one's... I don't even know what this one is. Purple, I guess, with a rug. This room's looking elegant, though. We just need a little bit of something here in the corner. Let's go and finish it off. Angry is back. <laughs> um. Gonna go broke decorating as always. Let me. Um, so we had. Right, we needed to make this. This gives you good comfort and it's a good light source as well. I wanted to make a little... We could have a metal jug that goes on the table, but... I want to make a little shelf. Thanks. Let's 
do that. Okay, there's copper on the go. Because we're running low on that. We're running low. I'm going to use those axes for another room that we get. Because I wanted to use the other one. The banner thing instead. Yeah, I've got the stool. That's it. I knew I came for something. Uh, there it is. We need the stool. I'm just going to wait for this chandelier thing. Um, I'm going to order some more candles. We're going to run low on those. Because we need them for the rooms now as well as... Um, the rooms. We're going to need lots of these. Look how much they are though. Three silver for one. I wish we could make our own. We need bees in the game, guys. We need the wax. I want the shelf to hurry up as well. Let's wait for that. Yes, angry. We made a Discord server. But behave. Because she was naughty yesterday. Don't want to see none of that in the server, my friend. Or be an instant ban. I've got the shelf. Is this done too? Yep. The basic emojis are so strange. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> Look how nice that lantern is up there. Let's see what we can do. Oh, the shelf's quite... Oh, it's bigger than I'd like it to be. It's not going to work there. Damn it. Hold on. Kind of works a little bit there. I mean, I'm just glad we can have it because I want to put things like this on the shelf to get that comfort up. Just little details. Right, the stool can go here. Nice. We should really try and get this in as well. Well, if I put that in the corner, move the incense burner near the bed a little bit, yeah, we, we're loving this. We're loving this. I could maybe put the, the shelf down in the um, in the actual tavern. So, once the candle's in there, we'll put a few more things on the shelf, maybe on the table. This comfort is 88. That's not bad. It's not the best, though. Um... This one is our best one, I think. At 93 comfort. We need, oh, we need a, some kind of plant. Maybe a plant in there would look nice. This one's our worst room. At 76. But I feel like I've cluttered that room so much. And it just still doesn't... Give us the comfort. And I think it's the closet. I don't think this gives us any comfort. This is actually for us. That should be in our room. Because you can actually get changed. So I don't think this is meant for the people. So it gives you zero comfort, but I think it looks quite nice. I kind of want it in there. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm, oh yeah, we need to change the floor, but we're running low on money. So tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is open the tavern and change the floor in here to make it look different to the rest. And that might make things look better, but the floor actually doesn't give you any comfort in the game. It doesn't matter what floor you have. shelf anywhere maybe under the window there move you a little bit 
That looks nice. There's the candles. All right, yeah, I think I think that's about good enough. Let's let's go for another day tomorrow. You gotta go and fix supper for the family. They seem to expect to be fed three times a day. <laughs> Great stream, Sharky. See you later. Thanks, Peggy, for stopping by. Enjoy your supper. Let's have a little clear up. So we're doing much better with the coal. 64, come on. Do we need fuel in here? Of course we do. Of course we need fuel. Let's sleep this one. Sharky, the stream will help with yesterday. I'm feeling good, angry. I've recovered. I just wanted a nice, cozy stream today. Just something not chaotic like yesterday, you know? And Traveler's Rest is very cozy. It's very easy to play. And I don't have to focus on the stream, like the chat and all of the member stuff, you know? Nice easy one. Just hang out with you guys. Right. Busy day. I've got to open the tavern. We need to make a little bit of money so I can change the flooring of that room. And we've also... I want to order a few new things to go on the shelf. And a new plant maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. What have we got? What can we put on there? We've got a brazier, a book. <laughs> a cobweb actually gives you two comfort. I'm going to buy one for that room. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to go with this indoor bush. I don't think we've um, have we got. A, I think we've had a lily. Let's go with that one. Metal jug, the pen. A sack? What's that for? Let's go for it. Why not? We've never had it before. Okay, got some stuff ordered there. Let's wait for that to come. Get some more nails. Always need the nails, guys. Always. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, gather some stone and coal today. Maybe take a visit to Bob. Bob and Nug. The golem and the chicken. And let's see what they're selling today. <laughs> you think your cat has ADHD? <laughs> what a crazy thing to say. Why is that? Is it just crazy? Oh! Potato! Let's go, they're all done. They didn't take long, did they? Oh, and the garlic. You've got this game after watching the streams, it's so fun. Yeah, it really is, Shadows. I'm glad you're, you're enjoying it yourself. It's very addicting. You could play this game for hours and just get lost in time. <laughs> you really can. That ain't no joke.
hate daylight savings, shadows. <laughs> you lose an hour. I feel like the day's gone so fast today. That's probably because I woke up late, to be honest. <laughs> Recovering from the stream yesterday. But with that one hour lost as well, God, I can't believe it's 10 p.m. already, guys. For me, the day has just gone, it's vanished. Order's been delivered, let's go. We're gonna open the tavern up later on this evening. We've got a busy day today. Try and get that third room fully set up so we can have three guests. Increase that money. We'll try and haggle and get them in for a minimum of one gold each. And then that's three gold just for those rooms. Which is a lot of money. I'm leaving all behind. Oh, that's another thing that I hate about this game <laughs> is the radius of like the magnet. It takes so long for the items to like come towards you. There it is. It's so frustrating. It takes so long for that. It's so slow. It needs to be a little bit faster. Let's go see Bob. <laughs> you keep showing me more games to get. <laughs> That's the old point. I showcase, showcase these amazing cozy games. I'll only play games that I enjoy that I think you will enjoy as well. stuff we need the coal there we go good afternoon empire how are you doing welcome to the stream i hope you're doing well your Steam wishlist is so long because of you. <laughs> That's not my fault. Don't blame me. You like the games too. You'd only find them games another time if it weren't for me. You'd eventually get it, right? Look, I'll happily take the blame, alright? There's Bob, my favorite person. Guys, we're nearly at 150 likes. Can we do it? Six away. Whack that like button if you love Traveler's Rest. Come on. Money is the most important thing. Helps Bob take care of Nugget. Right, uh, you're still looking for your father. I hope they develop his story. It's going to be super cool. Here we go, 150. Yes, guys. Well done. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Iron scrap. I've never seen this in the game. I wonder what that's for. Could you smelt it down into iron or something? It's one gold, though. And you can buy coal? <gasps> this stuff's like diamonds. Let's get it. I think we do actually need eggs, so I'm going to get them as well. we we'll get all of them. Stone's really good too. Bob, I'm clearing you out. I'm going to buy everything. Because we need it. Thank you. Cheers, Bob. 
Legend. 162. Yes, you smashed it. You smashed it, guys. You may be right, but I'll say it's your fault anyway. That's not fair. Melissa, I know you've got to blame someone, right? And no one else is going to step up to the mark, so I will step up, all right? Put the blame on me. <laughs> Anyone know if they've said when the next update's due, I want more Bob or the family to finish moving in? Yeah, that is coming next, aren't they? They're doing the family. So in the next update, guys, you'll be able to actually get inside this house here. Um, and you'll be able to see his family. He's going to have a portrait design. Um, you're going to be able to talk to them, see the whole family, get inside here. I think he's got two daughters and a wife or something like that. Uh, and of course, farm animals. And this is going to be the farmer. So this is where you're going to be able to buy your farm animals from. Just like Marnie's ranch in Stardew Valley. You're going to come down here, maybe buy animals or animal products. And as you can see, this farm is all going to be built up here. This science here, look. It's probably going to be cows and stuff roaming around here in the barn. And the chicken coop here, as you can see. So, the only thing I'm not sure is, are you going to be able to have farm animals on your little plot? And actually raise them, look after them, etc. Get the products? Or do you have to come down here and buy the products? Or maybe, like, take care of the animals over here? Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure where they're going to go yet. But I know the update's coming very soon. I think it's, um... I think it's definitely this year. They're kind of trying to get them out every couple of months, I believe. What should I get first, Dinkum or Traveler's Rest? I mean, Dinkum's... It's probably got more content than Traveler's Rest. There's just been a new update for that as well. Um, but of course, they're both still early access, so it doesn't really matter. I guess they're both on par with each other, really. This has still got quite a lot of content as well. I just feel like Dinkum's probably got more. Oop, don't want to build. Just want to open. We're doing 78 pieces of coal now. Oh, thanks to Bob. The legend. Get some more bars on the go. God, it's so much fuel. We use a ton of this stuff. But we're getting lots of nails, so it's all good. Mozzarella. And cheddar. We need to open the tavern. Let's go. Did anything come? Oh, yeah, it did. We can finish that room quickly, I think. Um, we ain't got enough money to do the flooring. We're going to have to do that another time. Let me quickly do the room, get the candles on, and open up the tavern. Let's get a candle in here. Let's get a candle in here. Okay, good. I'm going to put a cobweb in there. <laughs> a little cobweb. Why not? Okay. So, let's just put some stuff here on the table. We'll decorate a little bit. Cobweb, can we put this in the corner anywhere? Oh, we're not going to be able to. Oh, no. We haven't got space for it, guys. Oh, we can. We could put one there behind the... <laughs> Let's do it. That looks cool. It's quite creepy. And then we've got a nice flower pot, which we could probably put just in the side of the bed there. So the comfort is 99. Oh, my God. This is our best room. So we just need to change the floor and look at it. Someone's going to come and stay in there. Nearly 100 comfort. That's amazing. I don't think there's anything else we can put. Oh, we've got this. I forgot these two. 
We could maybe knock that up to 100. Let's have a look what we could do. We could put the vase... What's this sack? It's a bit strange. Make it look a bit clunky. Put the vase up here. That should be 100. There it is, 101. There it is. Nice. That's a great room, guys. Great room. This one might need a little touch. It was 93. That's not too bad, to be honest. And then what did this do? I don't think I did much, did it? 79. It's rubbish, this one. It's not a very good room. I don't know what else we could do. Should be all right. We should be good. I mean, this gives it 15. If we could just get another one of those down, but then that's just kind of pointless having two of those. <laughs> but we could do. 86 comfort. All right. Let's do it. Does the, this... Okay, having the candles in there actually increases it. Why not? Let's do it. It might look a bit silly. But I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. Let's just get that comfort up, you know? It's going to increase the money. <laughs> I guess we could maybe... Let's change things around a little bit, I guess. Um, another flower in there. 80 comfort, it's not as good. But I like the two, them two in the room there. I kind of like that. It, was, it looked a bit too clunky. Let's just leave it like that. Oh, it's very late. We'll open up until about 1am. Gonna hoard a, a bartender. No, floor worker. It's gonna come a little bit late, but it's fine. We need some money right now, so let's just open for a few hours. Anything's better than nothing. <gasps> oh, okay. 86 silver. That's really good. Let's do some. Uh... Let's do some haggling, guys. Come on, we've got to nail this. Let's get three in a row. No! Oh! Damn it, but still, one gold? I'll take it, that's decent. I was so close with that one. Is it already? It's already dark. Let's uh, 83. Let's do haggling again. As long as it goes into the one gold, I don't care. If even if I miss, that's the one you want. The second one. This is a tricky one. <laughs> Still one gold. I'll take. I'll take. Better than the 80 that she was gonna offer, or he was gonna offer. Let's get this fire on. There we go. All right, I know you're cold. Give me a break. Oh, there's the other room. Nah, look, they only want 43. No, we're gonna find someone better than that. I know you're gonna get the rift. We don't care about minus 55. Oh, this is rubbish too. Come on, we need something better than that, guys. Someone's even, someone's kicking off. Fifty-eight. That's a bit better. Can I just try and get all three for this one? Because I don't think we're gonna get one gold if we don't. Oh, straight away down the corner there. Yes. Oh, see the offer's so low. 
87. It was our worst room. The comfort's not great, so it makes sense. But still, that's some decent money right there just for those rooms. They need light. Is that better? You can see the amount of trenches I tried digging to trap it. Uh, what you? Oh, I don't know what you was on about there. The other day, one of my chicks. Oh, one of my chicks escaped the pen, and I spent all day uh, in game following it, so it wouldn't get eaten by a dingo. Or croc. You're on about uh, dinkum, yeah. That's the thing. If you don't put them away in a pen, they will get eaten by things. It's quite crazy. Oh look, Sharky's alive after 12 hour stream. <laughs> yeah, I made it. How are you doing, uh, museum? Welcome back. I recovered, slowly. That's why we're just relaxing today, doing a nice, cosy, a cosy tav uh, traveler's rest stream. Down in the tavern, having a good time. This is the game you can get cozy to, right? Perfect way to spend a Sunday. This is what I call what I call a Sunday game. <laughs> the cat's already losing heart, but guess what? I don't care, pretty cat. Because you've already gave me the achievement, and that's all I wanted. <laughs> a nice cozy stream is the perfect uh, compliment for me as I finish up my last book for the Trans Rights Readathon. Well, that sounds awesome. Nice way to spend it then. Nice cozy time. This would be a fun game for Twitch integration, like in Court the Lamb. Your followers could visit your tavern or be hired as help. That would be crazy. Is that actually a thing in Call to the Lamb? I never knew. The followers can come and visit you. That's crazy. Now this game, Traveler's Rest, is actually co-op. You can actually play with... Um, is it up to four people? So you can all obviously do a thing together. So you've got one person bartending. One person cleaning the tables, etc. I've never played it, but I'm pretty sure you can. You can use Twitch integration to get a cult members. That's crazy. Yeah, imagine if that was a thing in this. You guys coming over to the tavern. Working for me. <laughs> I'd have to really improve the size, though. We'd have to have a huge tavern. Right now, it's quite small and dinky. Shark minions. <laughs> I clean tables for you. Ah, good. <laughs> Someone's got to. <laughs> Who's going to mop the floors? Who's going to be the chef? We need someone in the back of the kitchen constantly cooking the food. Who's a good cook? We need someone behind the bar. We need security guys. Someone who can kick people out, give them a punch in the face if they're being be naughty and we also need someone who can take care of the animals so the cat and the parrot and apparently more pets are coming guys that'll be interesting we need everything you will cook right we need uh, someone who's good at brewing beer who's going to look after the beer and the wine we've got the chef i do i do enough at home i'm not helping You used to work in a restaurant? Look at that. Sorted. Right, who's going to be the, the one who cleans all the, the rooms where the people stay over the night? And they leave a mess. You've got to go into the rooms. you got to... Is it what it's called? A linen boy? <laughs> or a linen girl? Where you go and change the duvets, do all the washing, cleaning. JP's the doorman. Yep. You kick people out if they're causing a, a stir. Pineapple's mopping like a boss. <laughs> nice.
Right, guys, now we need an entertainer. Who's going to entertain the people who can stop them from kicking off like this? Who can sing? Who can dance? Who can tell jokes? Who can shake their booty at the short booty? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Okay, close. Last orders. No, I think it's 3 a.m. Hedgehog. I think it's it's either 2.30 or 3 a.m. But we have um, just finished. Everyone should leave in a second. I'll bring my foot. <laughs> the loot. You can play the clarinet. And I'll just stand and watch. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the manager, guys, all right? I'm making sure all you are doing your job right. <laughs> you can do some stand-up comedy. <laughs> See, there's so many jobs in the tavern, guys. All right, okay, we need a farmer. Who's gonna take care of the crops? We need a blacksmith. Who's gonna make all of our our like tools and our nails and our, all of our smithing, making all of the the resources and the furniture. We need everything. Who's good with the hands? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I kill plants just by looking at them. <laughs> Not my job. <laughs> I can sing off key. Amy, that'll do. <laughs> I'll farm during the day. Oh, and then you're going to tend to the doors at night, JP. <laughs> Two jobs. Two job JP. Derek's in charge of the farm, yeah. <laughs> and then we need someone to promote. Who's going to advertise the tavern? You know, send out some leaflets or posters like, you know, come down to the tavern, have a drink. Get them sales up, guys. Who's good with words? We've got to make this tavern, we've got to run it. Run it like a boss. Sharky can supervise us. Yeah, I'm going to be supervising you all. <laughs> There's loads to do. Right now, I'm doing it all on my own. I'll stand in town shouting. Yeah, take care of the animals. Asia, got it. And in the new update, we're going to get farm animals as well. Who's going to take... Is that what you're on about? You're going to take care of those animals? Then we need someone to do, like, our grocery orders. Someone to go and buy all of our ingredients. Who's going to go into town? Go to the groceries? Do all those herons. Because we look at... We need all of this stuff. We need the milk, the eggs, we need vinegar, we need all sorts. Yeah, we need a we need a postman or a post girl. <laughs> Who's in charge of the orders? You make poutine and cakes. Oh yeah. Tavern will be thriving. Then we just need someone to stand there and look pretty. Put a smile on people's faces. You're in marketing and you live on a farm? Put me where you want me. Oh, cozy corner. You are very handy. Jade works in the vet field. You can take care of animals as well as uh, Asia. <laughs> Alice, you're going to stand there and look pretty. You'd like another Stardew Valley Cup? Yeah, that'll be fun. That's Sharky's job. <laughs> you can stand there and stand. Oh, Melissa. You'll be the first one to get fired then. I'm going to be in charge of everybody. If they're slacking off. I'm be like, right, we're going to get someone new. <laughs> Hello, Sassy. How you doing? You have just joined as we're about to leave, though. That's not good. I'm literally about to finish the stream. We've been going for two and a half hours. This was a cozy one today. Sharky's job, but Alice is pretty. Is she prettier than me? 
Sharky, did you get to talk with Concerned Ape after the cup? Yeah, I did, Kevin. Yes, we all got put into um, like a voice call with him, which was pretty crazy. Yeah, there was obviously the only downside to that, there was quite a lot of us. There was like 20 of us, maybe even more, and uh, everybody just wanted to, to, to ask him a question. There were so many people really talking to him. I, I feel sorry for him, I bet it was overwhelmed. But yeah, we did all get to speak to him. It was pretty cool. He was very, very nice. Yeah, just thanked us all for being a part of the community and making the Stardew Valley what it is. And the Stardew Valley Cup was super fun. And then obviously he sent me the money. Straight through the PayPal. Eric Barone. I'm going to keep that forever, guys. It's got his name on it. <laughs> it was a great feeling. Eric Barone sent me some money through PayPal. Can you believe it? He seems like a good person. Yeah, he's really nice. He does care for the community a lot. I was asking him questions about the future updates, but he wasn't really giving us anything. He just kept saying, you'll have to wait, you'll have to wait. People was asking about um, Haunted Chocolatier too, but he wasn't going to give us anything. We did try to get some information for you guys, but <laughs> it didn't happen. Never watched that PayPal. I know. I want it forever. I'm gonna. I wanted to screenshot it and frame it. <laughs> that was super cool. Well, yeah, guys. I think we're gonna wrap up the stream there. I don't want another late one like yesterday. It's already like 10:30 p.m. So I'm just gonna maybe watch a movie or something and relax, ready for the fresh week. And there's lots of videos coming out. I'll be streaming again, I think, next Thursday. It seems like Thursdays and Saturdays are my uh, best times to stream. So I am going to be streaming quite a lot. So to all those new members, you know, you can get to use the emotes. Um, your badges, of course. The, the longer you become a member, your badge will change as you, as you go along with it. And we'll have some fun. We'll do more games with the community. We'll do member-only giveaways. Lots of things to look forward to. So make sure you stay tuned next Thursday for the next stream. And then possibly I'll do another one on Saturday as well. Two streams next week. As well as some videos going out. So thank you all so much for joining the stream today. It was a nice cosy one. Uh, yeah, look after yourself. And stay cosy. Let me see those booty sharks before we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to join the Discord server. There's a link pinned at the top of the stream. I can go and say hello to all of you guys in there. And make sure you link your YouTube account to your Discord if you're a member. Bye-bye.